of Book of New York challenged us to see if we can guess how much mail is in the Z-Mail hamper. The actual number is written on a piece of paper in this envelope. It's going to be hard because we can't look into the sides of the hamper to see how many layers of mail there are. I think it's 3,407 pieces of mail. 3,000. And seven stamps stuck in the bottom. <laughs> seven pieces of mail. Okay. I think I'm going to go a little crazy. Don't get too crazy now. 18,000 pieces of mail. Well, here's my idea. Let's say this stack of mail mm -hmm. and just put it... Oh, oh, look, look. We see how many pieces of mail go across this way. Yeah, and, and how, how many, many go across goes this way. And then multiply it by the height. Yeah. And then we should be able to get it. Yes. Yay. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's take a stack of mail. Yeah. Let's make it a little bigger. Well, Ooh. it has to be an inch, right? Oh, these envelopes are so pretty. It has to be an inch thick? Yeah. Let's see how much I think it's going to be a little over an inch now. Yep. Yeah. Take off this pretty envelope. And this one, and this one, and this one. Okay. Now we're down to really pretty envelope. Okay. I think that's an inch. Yeah, that's about an inch. Okay. Now, how many are here in this stack? Okay, let's go. One, one pretty envelope. Two, two three, four, four thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Thirty-three. Wow, that's a lot of mail we have. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, wait. Four, there's thirty-three four, pieces of mail per inch. One inch of mail is equal to thirty. 30 Two. Thirty-two. There's thirty-three. Thirty-three. <laughs> That's a funny-looking three you got there. Where's the pieces of... Of uh, female. Female. Yeah. Okay. Now. So, now we have to see how many pieces of mail it takes to go across in different sizes. Let's see, one, two, three... Four. You need to do that. I can just put a list of five. I love five and a half. Length equals five and a half. Five point five pieces of mail. Now the the width. Be one, two, two three, three, and a half. Three and a half. Always that extra half. Oh yeah, the length, the half always counts. Yeah. Now we have to measure the height. And inches. I have 26 inches. 26 inches high, right? Yeah, but the mail doesn't go all the way to the top of the hamper. Okay. Which means we have to minus about five but, inches. Yeah. Which makes it 21. 21 inches high. Inches. All right, listen. High. <laughs> so multiply the length times the width. Five. Which five? It's 25. Oops. Five. Writing these all over the place, huh? Two. Yep. Five. That's five. Okay. <laughs> that's five. It's 25 plus two. Is three, seven. Twelve. Six, Twelve. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. Not one. Two. Yeah. Oh. Nineteen. And one fourth. Then you multiply that by, by the height. Twenty-one. Eight. One. And then we have to time that by... Thirty. Thirty-three, right? That's absolutely positively correct. 104.25 times 33. 0.0517. Oh, it's the same here. 2, 1, 2, 1. Then the 5. That's no, four. that's 4. 4. Oh. That's 4. Ah. Let's see if we got any of those. No, three, one, three. 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 Yep, that's right. Okay. So this is what we got so far. Perfect. Okay. okay. It's time to check the envelope. And getting a little in here. And the winning number is seventeen thousand and two hundred and nine. We so oh, 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 that's, that's, that's pretty good. good. That's pretty good. And that's a lot of mail.